today we're doing the installation on the Beacon 3.0 with a Tremble or CNH FMX or FM1000 display. Some benefits of the Beacon are going to be the ease of use and the simplicity of installation. And the, the simplicity of installation is basically you take the Beacon um, and we're going to plug it right into port D on the back of the FMX and it's installed. So the first thing that we're going to do is go into our Bluetooth settings and we're going to connect our Beacon uh, in the raw Bluetooth settings of the iPad and you'll see that it's connected there. We can go ahead and back back out to our Digifarm app and we'll see down here in the corner that the beacon is green. Um, we'll also see up here in the top that the beacon shows it's connected. Uh, both of those tell us that the beacon is connected. The receiver type that we're going to select next is going to be uh, Trimble RTCM or Trimble CMR depending on if it's a receiver that's capable of running RTCM data. Most newer receivers are capable of RTCM, so we'll select Trimble RTCM, input our username and password, and we'll go ahead and hit start. Now we'll see that piece of data going up to the server. That uh, is position data being sent to the server, and then the server turns green. That means we're connected and we see our raindrops coming down. That tells us that we're receiving data from the, uh, from the server. We'll also notice that uh, with Beacon selected in our advanced settings, we can see that we have uh, RTK fix and our correction age uh, also shows up on here. That can also be seen on the GPS receiver itself. So once we have our iPad set up, we're going to come back to the FM1000 and we're going to go into the wrench. And we're going to select the GPS receiver plug-in and we're going to go into setup. And once we get into our setup, um, we want to make sure that our corrections is center point RTK. Now, if there's an FM, if there's a radio installed internally in this FM1000 or FMX, we want to make sure that we set a network ID of 250. Um, that will not be an option if there's no radio installed. Um, so once we have those two set, we're going to go into the XFIL settings, and we want to make sure that XFIL is enabled. Um, the frequency and baud rate, uh, you can leave at factory default. The datum selector, we want to make sure that NAD83 is selected. And then we can go ahead and hit OK. So the next place we're going to go um, is GPS receiver and diagnostics. And we're going to go down here to the bottom to the ag remote screen. And this is going to look similar to uh, the RDI screen on a 372. Um, but we're going to go ahead and press the right arrow twice to configuration and then the down arrow once and we're going to press the right arrow until we get to the port D config um, because we plugged the beacon into port D. So now we can press the down arrow once and you'll see that we have our default settings here of TSIP. Um, we're going to press the right arrow once to change that and we want to set that to RTCM because we selected uh, Trimble RTCM on our iPad. So this and the iPad have to match up. Uh, we want the baud rate at 38k4 so we can press the right arrow till we get to the bottom line and the bottom line we want to read 8n1 and since port D cannot output uh, GPS data we want to set that to none. and then we can go ahead and press enter. So now we have uh, the settings set up correctly in Ag Remote. Um, you can go ahead and press the escape button three times and it'll take us back to our main Ag Remote screen. Now the next step is gonna be pressing start on your iPad. And once you see the cloud on the iPad turn green, you will uh, start seeing your correction age and if there's a capital R in the corner of the RDI screen or in the Ag Remote screen, that's going to be uh, telling us that we have an RTK fix now. So we can go ahead and hit OK. And on our diagnostics page, it's going to tell us that our GPS status is RTK fixed. It gives us a correction age. So we can go ahead and hit OK. And back out to our home screen and we can go ahead and load our field up. Yeah. 
So once we have our field loaded up here, um, we'll be able to touch on that icon in the corner. It'll tell us that we're GPS fixed. It'll tell us that we're GPS fixed, RTK fixed. It'll show us our correction age and our uh, percent data received. Now in the event that uh, you lose cellular service or something of that nature, um, we will simulate that now. Uh, we will fall into exfil, which is a fallback method. And you'll see that right up here in the corner. You'll see that X turn blue in the corner. And if you touch on the satellite icon, you can see that we have fallen into exfil. Now we'll simulate uh, getting RTK back um, by pressing start on our iPad again. And you can see that uh, once the cloud turns green on the iPad, uh, within a few seconds, we jump right back into RTK fixed. This is an excellent feature for uh, poor cell service areas um, or uh, any, any reason that you may lose, lose corrections uh, at any time. And that's the XFIL setting um, that we had set up previously.